And we are back with another unofficial but accurate tutorial on accessing online homework help. So at this point, we're assuming that you've bookmarked this page so you can get to it easily. If you don't remember how to get to it or haven't bookmarked it, you can go back to a previous video and learn more about how to find it. And we're assuming that you've already registered on the Hennepin County Library website and that you have also registered in Help Now or Homework Help. So if you haven't done any of those things before this, then take a step back and check out one of the prior videos. So we'll get logged in here and now we'll log into this part two. And again, you don't have to have an account inside of Help Now, but it does um, it does help save your information and save the work that you've done. Alrighty, so now we're logged in and we can go to live tutoring. You can see there's a lot of other stuff here. I really encourage you to explore it, uh, but right now we're going to focus on the main thing, which is the live tutoring available from 1 to 11 p.m. every day. So this live help is available in Spanish as well as English. And what's especially great about it is that you get to be connected with someone who has the skills for whatever level you're at. So all the way from kindergarten through college level. So let's say I'm a senior in high school working on calculus. It's actually pretty hard to find somebody who, you, who can tutor you in that, um, but this is a way to do it. And it's going to put you with someone who actually does have that expertise. But just to keep things simple, I am going to choose, let's say, fifth grade science, and then click Get Help Now. And here we are getting connected to this whiteboard and it is connecting me with this same tutor that I connected with yesterday and so I'm just gonna let her know what I'm doing Alright, so the first time you use it, it is going to take you on this tour of what's available. So what you have is a text chat area and then this big whiteboard area. There are drawing tools that can be used on the whiteboard and so you can um, write things on here, you can upload a document, you can uh, make comments on it, you can change the color that you're using to draw on it. You can also, this is the eraser, if you want to erase some of the things that you've done you can do that too. There's an equation editor in here and this is for if you are doing some of those more advanced math things um, you can click in here and it has all of these functions where you can add in, you can't see some of them underneath here, but some of the more advanced math stuff. I'm going to just go ahead and close that. And then I accidentally clicked on that again. I'll close that again. This is where there's this tiny little paper clip here. You can upload a file. So if you have homework that you want to upload and share, once you put it in there, it'll show up on this whiteboard. And then you and the tutor can edit it together. And this is the text chat. And then finally, if you have the app on your phone, you can use this option. Um, you can use it on your computer as well to use your device's camera to take a picture. If you don't have a file to upload, you can take a picture of a worksheet using this. And then same thing, it'll go into the whiteboard and the tutor can help you with it. I'm just going to thank her. She has put up with quite a bit from me in the last couple of days. All right, so that just shows you how kind the tutors are. I'm going to go ahead and leave that. 
So once you get out, it uh, always has this survey. One of the interesting things that you can do is replay the session or send yourself an email transcript if you want to keep track of what happened and what the tutor had to say then this is a great way to handle that. But I don't really feel like dealing with the survey, so I'm just going to click back, and it takes me back to Live Help, and I can go to Home, and if I want to, I can do another tutoring session, or I can use any of these other things. When you're ready to be done, you can simply log out and close up the window. So I hope you find that helpful. Please feel free to reach out to Hennepin County Library via contact us or ask us on the library website, which I will return to just now, hclib.org. If you have any questions or any challenges with using any of this, and one of the library staff will be very happy to help.